Yeah, so now the people want to know what's the longest they can stay in Ghana, even though they have a five-year visa. Well, um, um, when you have five years visa, I think the Ghana Immigration Service has been given the authority to give you how many months you will stay, even though regardless of the five years. Then when you are in and you want to regularize your stay, when that two months is, you have to go back to immigration for them to extend your stay for you. They can stay for another three months or two months. Now, if you want to stay here formally, then you should have a resident permit. And the resident permit allow you to work or do other things. That, that one is formally is two years or three years renewable but now they've changed it to a year one year then you can renew it again so after one year you go in for renewable that's it so and yeah you have to be coming in and out yeah it's putting all that money or go to the next country and come mm -hmm. in <laughs> <laughs> yes uh when they give you that two months right and you don't leave it means that you have overstayed your visa. So your it's stay. not 90 days, it's not three days, I mean three months. <laughs> no, it's 60 days, two months. So you have to go, maybe go to Togo, yeah. and you I come back, and then extension is given. But you have to go to the, come to them when they said to Yes, them. because... That's what happened to me. Yeah, yeah the immigration yeah. services are the entry points yeah. of all our entry points, the borders, the seaport, so and all street, that. Street. Yeah, street, yes. So that is it. So when you go now, do you have to stay like overnight, or can you go for a couple of hours? Oh, you can go for a couple of days. As far as they realize that you have days. gone out of the country, they stop you because when you get to the border, they'll stop you that you are out of Ghana. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. On both sides, yeah. Yes. Because I so, go right through the roads of state transport. So when you're coming in, home, they stamp you again that hey you are back in exactly. and if you are not a Ghanaian then they will give you you will look at your visa mm -hmm. the visa that the Ghana embassy have issued you if it's two years if it's one year it's three months depending on that they'll give you the number of days to stay again so that is but if you are Ghanaian you don't need if you are ECOWAS citizen you don't need yeah. okay. so we are now in a brick town this is the township of a brick and all the people you see in this town their major economic activity is farming that's the major economic activity for the people of a they are farmers but a is famously noted for by the a botanical garden the Abri botanical garden was set up in 1875 as sanitarium where the British uh, Health Sanitarium, uh, where they realized and And then in 1890, it was turned into a botanical garden, welcoming everybody, and also agricultural research station, where they use it as an agri agricultural research station, uh, researching into other things. Coming up on my right and on your left is the College of Education Presbyterian is a Presbyterian training college or uh, training teachers for the Ghana Education Service and others. So, but this is basically pure women training college for women. So we are ent entering the over century old Ebri Botanical Gardens, and when you go in the there's the presidential lawn where we have various presidents over the years have um, planted various trees. The oldest tree in this garden, unfortunately, has died, fall, stayed for, that is the, a minute. All right, let me come out this so we can pay for this. As a family, stay tuned, we'll give you some more as we connect onto us visiting this beautiful place. So family, 